Good afternoon, Mac Blogs here, aka Ian. Tonight I am staying in another hotel here in Glasgow and tonight I'm staying at the Ibis Styles uh, here in Glasgow City Centre. There is other Ibis hotels like Ibis Budget I believe and other ones but tonight I am staying here at the Ibis Styles. So I will show you the kind of difference, I believe the difference of the other hotels but I'm just going to focus on this, I'll obviously focus on the main style of this hotel and uh, you can compare if you've stayed at the other ones yourself until hopefully one day I go and check out the other ones as well. But I'm currently sitting in this comfortable chair and let's get started uh, on this tour. So I'm just too relaxed just now in this chair but I'm keen to bring you this room. It's not a huge room, it's not a massive room, the price and everything else I will put in the video itself or in the description box down below. So let's get started with the room tour and have a look to see what this room has to offer. Let's go. So starting at the front door, people, emergency information for the fire assembly point and location. I am on level 5, got your standard things to put out, so do not disturb, and please uh, make up your room, you can see some Scottish slang, on the literature there, you've got this lock which swivels down, which I thought was pretty cool, so it does go to about there, but it falls down the way. Your card, your key card, put that into that slot and that will put the power on so you can use your lights, etc. within the room. Now as you come into this room, you'll see the theming straight away, look at the carpet. You've got the kind of famous bars, the marketplace of Glasgow. And different areas, you've got the Barrowlands there, Glasgow as well, the SEC, the Cramadillo. Some musicians playing there, some more musicians there, the bar is again, not too sure what that is just yet. You've got this cool mirror, you walk in, you got a blue theme in here, I don't know if that's throughout the hotel, I've not really seen a blue theme I don't think, but I think that is the theme, the colour theme. So mirror, that has a single socket here, it's got this decal through it, the kind of stage lights above, and a keyboard just there, you can kind of see the keyboard, so I'll go too close because you won't see it because of my reflection. I'm not sure what this is, I call Live Limited, so you can scan the QR code if you wish, you see me, but you can have a look at what that means. So I'm presuming you get 10% off your stay if you join. But just walking in, so you've got the bathroom for the shower to the left of me here, but we'll have a look at the main room first. This comes with the room of course, just to fold out and unpack your bags. This is the chair that I was opening the video. It looks like a sad face, isn't it? Two eyes and a sad face. Is that just me that sees that? I don't know why. Not a sad chair at all, that was a happy chair, I enjoyed sitting on that chair, maybe it's unhappy that I sat on it, who knows. This is the overview of the room, like you say, I'll put all the information in the video, I believe this is a standard uh, double room that I have chosen. It's a nice TV, Samsung TV with this feature behind it. Nice modern light, we'll have a look at the view in a minute, see what we can see. Nice big headboard. Now again, the feature from what I can see is, there's a famous bridge going over the Clyde. Which the Clyde is a river here in Glasgow, it's a famous river that runs through it. And then we have this feature, um, 
which is part of the SEC page. I don't know what I don't know what they call it now, but it's pretty cool. I thought nice on point theming to Glasgow. So just to the left hand side in this room, we have the wardrobe, little desk space here, which is a nice use of space. Single socket just above that desk space. Get a bin below that desk. A kind of work area, work top. This light as well. You can just turn the light on here. And then beside the bed, I believe there's only one bedside table. Yeah, that's right. It's not one there. So one bedside table there. You got two bedside lights. That one does look far away. Or is it just my? Nope. So see, okay, how do you put this on? There we go. I put this little switch on here. A double socket and a USB point on both sides, I believe. Yep. So you've got one there, and you've got a double socket and USB point just there as well. Also, a light switch to turn the main light off and on, as of this one as well. You can just see with the spotlight above there. Me turn in. that off and on. So I'll move this out of the way just now, just to get into this wardrobe space. Now it's not a deep wardrobe, however, it does seem to oh, does seem to have the space that you'll need. So hangers, there's only three hangers in this room, all of which you can. Having trousers on as well, just at the top there in the shelf area, you have an iron hair dryer, and just below again, you have the ironing board. And down there, which you could lift out and put up there when you want to use it, is a kettle. I'm just going to stoop down and look inside. So you've got PG Tips tea, and you've got Kenko, decaf, got milk, I think that's normal, yep, normal, Kenko, smooth, you got real mugs, not plastic or polystyrene, and real spoons as well. And that is your storage space. Now you do have a gap underneath the bed, so you could slide under any smaller, thinner bags or shopping underneath there. But there is a nice space here as well. Just going to see what kind of view we have. Nice tall windows, to be fair. I'm going to open this wide. Yeah, not much of a view. Some construction works. As always, seems to be a lot of construction works in Glasgow just now, but I think that's just normal for a city centre to have a lot of works going on. Yeah, so... That's a view from my room. Not too sure what that is there. It's a, you can eat the net point. This gives you an overview of the room from here. Let's go and have a look in the bathroom, the ensuite. Now, there's a pretty cool. My bag and my shoes patiently waiting in the corner. It's a pretty cool uh, feature inside the, the bathroom or the ensuite or shower room. I forgot to mention there is your control panel for your heating, air conditioning. But let's have a look inside. As soon as you walk in, fully tiled. We've got this cool feature here. We'll have a look.
have a look at that in just a minute. Your basic stuff, obviously toilet, bins, towel, your sink, more towels, a nice big shower as well. So, first impressions, it's very clean, very tidy. The room that is as well as in here. So everything seems to be very modern, nice. A few scuffs and dinks on the wall which just needs paint, but you can look past that if it's clean. Well, I can. Nice big mirror. The real glasses, no plastic, which is good. Shaving point, power point. Here you have, what does that say? Wash it, dry it, smash it. Air body and face wash. We have a similar product, so this in the shower. This is a, so it's a pivot door, you open the door, it's not a sliding door, just mind a little step into the shower. A grab rail there as well, just to have a look at. There are options for cleaning, press to press, gorgeous hair in a bottle. I think I need a lot of that. Conditioning shampoo. Press to impress. Again, amazing you in a bottle. Hair, body and face wash. Shower, head, shower. The said looks clean, tidy, modern. All good. So back to this feature here, who can you see? So we've got some famous musicians, bands. So far, straight away when I looked earlier, I seen Travis, obviously Primal Scream, right in front of the, right, huge, right in the middle of it all. You've got Deacon Blue, Frightened Rabbit, Simple Minds there. Who else can you see? Who else? The Fratellis, I like the, the, the Fratellis, there's Lulu, it's a pretty cool feature, here, in the bathroom, I do always call it a bathroom even though there's no bath but I think we all do that. So that's really the main things from this room, however, I've just, it's a bit darker now I know, but I've just closed the blinds over. Just so I can show you this, this, this is the welcome message that you get here at Ibis Styles. Now I'm going to read it out, and hopefully you understand it. Uh, there will be subtitles of course, but the hotel here have got a welcome message on the TV, which you can kind of hear in the background just now, which I'm going to show you and read out to you, and hopefully you enjoy this little bit of Scotland or Scottish slang that they have. I've read it myself and I, I like it. It's, it's pretty funny. It's the usual Scottish banter, as we say. So hopefully you like it. So let's have a little look. So here is the hotel welcome. I'm going to read it out. I will try and multitask as best as possible with holding the camera and keeping it steady as well. So it says, it's your cell. We are so bored of the usual welcome messages, so we did our own. Here's the rules written by a few simple minds. Brekkie is a buffet served in the bar available from 6.30am to 10am, 10am at weekends. Instagrammable coffee available downstairs in Tinder box. Flash your key at one of our barristers for £1 off. Hashtag Belter, hashtag Ibis Style Glasgow. Checkout is 12, I 12, so have a wee extra hour in your scratcher, you're welcome. If you're going out out, your iron is in the cupboard, next to the kettle, then you get them mixed up. The kettle is pure shocking for getting the wrinkles out your shirts. If you're looking for some scran or bevy, that's food or drink, just pop down to the bar to order. We're more than welcome, oh, we're more than happy to deliver it up. Sadly, our wee app is on the breakdown just now. 
So the QR code isn't working. So here it are. I can't even read that. We are 24 7. So if you need anything, send us a WhatsApp on that number. And then to get to your normal TV, you press OK or 1. So I like that. It's a nice little touch to say you're welcome here in Glasgow. And that's really it. So there's nothing else I can show you from this room in particular. Hopefully you've found it useful for comparing. So I get a lot of messages, a lot of comments from yourselves asking the comparison to different rooms. All really, you know, different hotels, different rooms. Only really depends on what you're here for. Long stay, short stay, your purpose for, for visiting. Um, so yeah, it's it's... There are a lot of hotels in Glasgow, to be fair, and a lot of variety as well, so I'm trying to cover as much of them as possible. Just to bring something different in regards to content, but also bring that information out there uh, to you and to others that need it. And also try and make it a bit entertaining to all my regular subscribers as well, who obviously I appreciate you all. I also appreciate new subscribers, so I'm just putting it out there, so make sure you subscribe, it helps the algorithm, it helps the information get out there to people that are looking for it. So, that's it. Nothing else to show from here. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video from here at the Ayubus uh, Styles Hotel here in Glasgow City Centre. If you want to follow me, all the information uh, down below is in the description box and in regards to Instagram and Facebook. If you like other content that I do, have a look at uh, my YouTube channel mainly and you will see the main things that I focus on I'm going to be focused on so travel, adventure, theme parks this comes under that bracket because I do travel I do like seeing different places and I do like visiting different hotels as well so like I say hopefully you enjoyed it like, subscribe, all that good stuff and until next time I'll see you then, bye bye